let's move along then. I want to point out a major flaw as far as I can t as far as I can see or at least a major omission in the way that social networks are construed in both Facebook and Google Plus um, and that is that the relationships are all of one variety. Those links, those edges are all of one variety. They're friend. All the people I've friended are all the people that are connected to me on Facebook. So I don't have a way of differentiating what those relationships are. But obviously friend is not the only way that I'm related to people. I'm related to people who are genetically related to me. Father, son, mother, daughter, cousin, aunt, uncle, etc., etc. And so here's a blow up of a piece of the um, a piece of the Facebook social network that, um, or a piece of my Facebook social graph with some of that filled in. Two things to note about this. First is that not all relationships are the same. Every two people have different kinds of relationships. And of course, once you start thinking about it, there's all sorts of relationship. Friend is like best friend, associate, maybe up and coming friend, old friend, childhood friend, school friend. There's all sorts of kinds of friends, right? So that's kind of why that I think these social applications haven't really touched this idea of named relationships, which is what we're talking about, a named relationship between different people in the, um, in the social graph. It's because it's too complicated and you'd have to actually type that in and you'd have to think about it. And that's kind of a problem and we'll see this problem over and over again in information organization is that theoretically there's all sorts of ways that people are related but do I really want to think about it and write it all down? That would take me forever and I don't actually know necessarily what I think about all the different ways I'm connected. It's very, very complicated. At any rate, I want you to know this idea. And the idea is that when two things are related, their relationship itself can have a name. In the Facebook social graph, the only relationship name that we have, the only kind of edge in Facebook terminology or link in network technology in terminology is friend. Everybody's equally friend of everybody else, whether it's your mother or whether it's some distant person that you've hardly ever met. They're all friend. But if you look closely, you'll see that those relationships are named. Now, another thing that I want you to know about these relationships, one is that you can have a symmetrical relationship. That is, one person is related to the other person in exactly the same way the other person is related to the first. And if you look at brother-in-law and cousin here, those are symmetrical relationships. Two people are cousins. A is a cousin of B, B is a cousin of, age. It's, uh, of A. It's a symmetrical relationship. Both people are related to each other in the same way. Now look at the son-father relationship. That's an asymmetrical relationship because A is related to B in one way, B is related to A in a different way. So it depends what kind of relationship it is, depends on who you're looking at it from. Okay, to summarize this idea, one of the major missing things from the way social graphs work in Facebook is the idea that relationships can be named. There can be a type of relationship, a type of link, a type of edge in Facebook terminology. And when we add that in, we see that it's really complicated, which is probably why they're not doing it yet, even though eventually I'm sure they'll try to do something like that. So concept number one, the idea of a named relationship. Concept number two is that those relationships can be symmetrical where A is related to B the same way B is related to A, or they can be asymmetrical so that A's relationship to B has a different name, it's of a different variety than B's relationship to A. Okay, so I hope now that you have the concept of a social network and specifically the concept of this social graph that shows you and all your friends on Facebook um, and where it, um, where it ends and it ends at this idea of named relationship. So now let's talk about